In this problem, we have a scatter plot. And this is where we take two pieces of data about, in this case, a people, a group of people. So each one of these dots represents a person. And it shows uh, on the Y what score they got on a midterm exam for a class. And on the X, the number of hours they spent studying for that midterm. And as you can see, in this scatter plot, the dots kind of um, show a, a, a direction. They generally bunch up in one direction that starts uh, low here on the left and goes higher on the right. And that makes sense, right? The more you study, the better you should do on an, an, on an exam. And everybody's going to be a little bit different that way. But in general, the more you study, the better you're going to do. What you can see here is that a line of best fit has been drawn in. So when you get a, a scatter plot that shows this kind of direction, that shows a relationship between the X and the Y, you can just uh, plunk a line down that basically goes through the middle of those points and shows uh, the direction uh, of, the, of the plot. From that line, we can actually make predictions. So uh, let's read this, this problem. The, the scatter plot shows the time spent studying X and the midterm score Y for each of 25 students. Use the equation of the line of best fit. So they're actually giving us an equation for this line. They drew that line in, and then they figured out what the equation was. To answer the questions below, give exact answers, not rounded approximations. So A says, what is the predicted midterm score for a student who didn't spend any time studying? So the amount of time studying is x. So what we would do is put in 0 for x. So we would say y equals 3.81 times 0 plus 16.76. If we do that, the 3.81 times 0 is just 0. So y, which is the term score, is going to equal 16.75. So that's the answer for this one. It's 16.75. So if you don't study at all, that's your score, 16.75 out of 100. Ouch, pretty low score. Let's look at the, the next part. B says, what is the predicted midterm score of a student who studies for 15 hours? So for that one, we're just going to put 15 in here for x. So I'll need to pull out my calculator for this one. So I'm going to type in 3.81 times 15 plus 16.75. And that gives a score of 73.9. So you want to get a C, you study for 15 hours. Then part C says, for an increase of one hour in the time spent studying, what is a predicted increase in the midterm score? And you could try calculating this, but really it's given to us. The number of hours spent studying is what we put in for x. And you multiply that by 3.81. So for every one more hour, you get 3.81 more up in your score. So the amount that you get raised in your score per hour is 3.81. So that's this answer right here. So that is how to make some predictions from a line of best fit for a scatter plot.